Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how to play Telephone Pictionary. And the first thing you might be wondering is, what is Telephone Pictionary? Well, it, it's almost literally a cross-combination of the games Telephone and Pictionary, where if you don't know the game Telephone, it's a, it's a little kid's game where basically you sit in a circle and whisper a little message to their ear, and basically what you do is whisper the message all around the circle and usually you end up with something pretty darn different than what you had uh, to start with. So um, Telephone Pictionary basically takes that concept, but instead of whispering in someone's ear, you grab all your friends, sit in a circle, and then um, you basically write a message and then pass it to the person next to you, and then they create a picture of that message. And then they pass it to the next person who, draw who writes a message about the picture they see. So just to illustrate, I'll show you how it's done. For example, I'll write big fat head. And so I'll, pa I'll pass it to the person next to me who will receive it and it'll be like big fat head. That's weird, but I'll draw a picture of it. So he'll draw a huge head, maybe a little body. And then um, what he'll do is just fold over big fat head so the person next to him doesn't see it. And then he passes it to the next person. So they get the, this picture right here and they're like, what? what is this? Is this a balloon with arms? So they'll write balloon with arms. Basically, you'll write what the picture looks like to you. So once again, he'll fold over the picture so that the person next to them only receives the next message. So again, passes over. They see this and they say, a balloon with arms, what the heck? I'll draw it, because I have to. So they'll try and draw a balloon with arms. Terrible drawing, I know, but for the for example purposes. And so there you go. As you can see, the evolution of these telephone Pictionary games can get really crazy, especially when you have different friends and different people to like give their own interpretations of things. So uh, that's how the game of telephone Pictionary works. So, now that we've explained what Telephone Pictionary is, there's actually a couple different ways to play it. Um, the way we demonstrated before was using the uh, paper fold-up thing, which, um, it's kind of an easier way to do it and requires a little less supplies. Another way to do it is actually using uh, flash cards, which uh, can be a little cleaner and um, just provide a little more organized space for your guys' pictures. Um, which is another great way to do it. And finally, the third way is an actual um, professional, or like a real board game called Telestrations, which basically comes with a number of whiteboards and uh, magic markers where you can flip through, write your messages, and write your pictures. And it's actually a pretty cool little package. So if you really end up liking this game, I suggest you pick that up. And um, finally, um, there is a new website that uh, opened up called TelephonePick.com that will showcase a bunch of uh, Telephone Pictionary game pictures from different people around the world. And there, you can see some pretty hilarious stuff on it. And um, you also have the option to uh, become a member and upload your own pictures if you choose to do so. So... Um, thanks for joining me in this explanation of Telephone Pictionary, and we'll see you later.